Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not dis be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is the perfection of prudence. And whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care, because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts. Like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. I will remember you upon my couch, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul is thirsting for you, 
O Lord my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, my brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake. For you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Of the ten virgins in charge of maintaining the lamps lit uh, to wait for the bridegroom, five were sufficiently prudent to arrange what they needed for the waiting. They filled, their con they filled containers with sufficient oil for their lamps so that even if the bridegroom arrived at night, they would be prepared. The other five did not think or were concerned with this. And the arrival of the bridegroom caught them unprepared. Thus they were left out of the party. Inside there was light and outside there was darkness. The attitude of those who had oil appears to be selfish, but if it is understood in a different way, in a uh, in a different way that that we will see this parable opening for us the understanding. So, uh, the light that they're speaking about is the spiritual life, and the oil represents the works of the spirit. So in reality, no one can give this to another. It is an inner attitude that cannot be uh, passed on. It has to be taken care of by oneself. There are people who live, who always leave for tomorrow what they could have done today. I guess we call them procrastinators. But it is not so much the, the waiting that's the problem or the delaying of doing good, that's the problem. That's, it's not the delay part of it, it's the importance of being prepared. Procrastinators are people who are very sure that they will have time tomorrow, say, to reconcile with their brother, or visit a sick friend, or return what was stolen, or to begin being honest in their job 
or to be uh, to have more concern for their children. They forget that tomorrow is what we, with certainty, cannot be sure of. We can only be sure of the now, the present, nothing else. Isn't it better to begin doing those things now? That way, if we don't have tomorrow, at least we will have commenced a much happier life. We will have made those close to us happier, and we will have done our job much better. At least then, we would be able to tell the Lord that although we may not have finished what we set out to do, it was, but it was not for lack of trying. This is what Jesus asks of us, to remain alert and awake in life, to be prepared, and to do what we must do so that when the time comes, we are not without oil in the lamps or empty-handed. Jesus fills us with a great spiritual gift every time we celebrate the Eucharist. We remember that by the lighting of candles at the altar. We remember uh, it in baptism when our baptismal candle is lit and that light of Christ is, is first passed on to us. But in the Eucharist, we stoke the fire, so to speak. We receive this great gift of Jesus himself. And he strengthens us, and he helps us to keep the flame of faith alive and burning, and to support it by using the gifts that we have been given. So let's allow this Eucharist today, received um, spiritually, of course, because of um, uh, COVID and this recording, uh, let's open ourselves to God's grace and let's receive his light and keep that light burning brightly by engaging in the works of the Spirit. Let's keep those lights burning so that we may never be in the dark, but always ready for his coming. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. certain of God's care, we pray for the church and the world. That all who minister in the church be leaders who serve and servants who lead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our country continue to honor all who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the quest for freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the veterans who give service to our country receive the honor and appreciation they are due, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all burdened with memories of war and strife find comfort in Christ's message of love and peace, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of this community and their loved ones who have died receive the abundant fruit of God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please add your own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we do not know the hour of our death. Until that day, hear our prayers. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints. We too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please make your spiritual communion with the Lord Jesus Christ now. The disciples recognize the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.